This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2018 Ford F-150 crew cab short bed. That's the extra short bed, five and a half foot bed. Um, it has very low miles, 76,970 miles. It's a 2.7 liter twin turbo, two wheel drive. Um, XL is the trim package. It was a Holmes Tuttle Ford trade in about a mile and a half away from where we're standing. And it's a really nice truck. Uh, all we had to do for it was uh, uh, send it to detail. Um, as we do with all trucks, we drove it into that bay right there. We have a drive-on lift, put it in the air, um, pressure sprayed it, left it overnight, um, looked for any uh, issues, rust or leaks or anything. We didn't see anything under there. It looks great. Um, the only thing that we noticed that we might do if we were the owner of it is we might change out the bed liner. It looks like somebody used this as a uh, some sort of an asphalt or painting, painter's truck. Probably the foreman because it looks really good for that, but the bed liner looks terrible. Um, and I see these little things. Usually that means they had some flashy lights in there for like road work. So anyway, but uh, it's a really good looking truck, but uh, my job in these videos is not to tell you how great it is, it's to really tell you exactly what it is so that we don't have any drama because a lot of our vehicles will leave it, leave the state, people will buy them, pay by wire and ship it out of state and we can't have it not living up to what we presented in these videos and in our ad because that causes trouble for you and us. And there's plenty of people on the internet who want to buy this exact truck as long as we announce it correctly. So it only screws us to not be brutally honest. Uh, there's no reason to not. So when I see stuff, I will tell you. First of all, I'm guessing the tires, well, for the condition report we bought and they said there's 730 seconds, which is green level, which is good. 730 seconds to me looks like maybe a little 50 to 60% tread. Got plenty of time on it. I see a little chip in the door here, a little scratch down here. I mean, obviously it's a work truck, but it's a hell of a good looking work truck. So here's the bed liner. This is what I'm talking about. And this has been to detail. They pressure sprayed the hell out of it. And all that stuff is stuck to it. It's the original bed liner. It's a Ford bed liner. So somebody, when they bought this brand new, paid a fortune for it when they should have just gone to the local uh, aftermarket bumper shop and gotten the same bumper cover but much cheaper <laughs> but uh, that's another story let's see what else we got going on here I don't see anything back here in the uh, auto check which will be linked and you can see it says minor accident rear bumper and it looks like that rear bumper is pretty new it's not new new but it looks like it's pretty new <laughs> um, it's clearly not the original bumper so somebody had to replace that uh, that bumper at some time. All right. But other than that, man, it looks great. Really good. Yeah, these tires are at least 50% on the conservative side. Um, let's see. So right now we have locked, unlocked, I mean. And then let's see. I can figure out how to make a key work. That's locked. And let's see. Ah. Apparently, I set the alarm. There we go. Now you go lock and unlock. There you go. All right. 76,988 is the exact mileage on the truck right now. And this is a very cold start. This is what it uh, looks like right now, okay? Ice cold. Runs great. I've already had it down the interstate and looks runs great. Um, this will be linked in the auto check. There's your VIN. One owner gave it a 92 score, which is a high on the range for this. It says accident minor. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It says point of impact not available. But, oops, I got it out of order here, don't I? Let's see, Tucson, Tucson, Tucson. Minor accident, 223.22. It says, 
damage or repair to bumper reported. So there you go. Anyway, that'll be linked in. You can look at that yourself. Um, this is the condition report that we bought it from Holmes Tuttle on um, with 76,000 miles. There's the VIN. They gave it a 4.3 uh, auto grade, which is considered clean, which is very unusual for any truck to get that kind of grade. That's very good. Um, market report, Menheim market report. This is what dealers will play, pay at an auction for this vehicle with that many miles, 76,960, and that condition report. That high condition report adds a lot of value to it, as do the low miles adds value to it. So you end up with an adjusted MMR of 20,800. That's what we would pay for this at auction. And then you would be expected as a dealer to retail this truck on your property for 26.6. Anyway, this is the closest one to it, uh, 27.5 uh, for a 76,000 mile truck with a 3.1, so a lesser grade. That's uh, the closest, but it's important when you look at this list to look at the grades. And then you can see, you know, like you'll see a, a 95,000 mile truck with a 4.6 getting 20 grand, okay? Kind of that, that type of deal. All right, people ask us how we get our prices. Uh, we go all the place, car, car gurus, auto trader, look around and we make sure that ours is the cheapest and the best, all right? So we found this truck on uh, car gurus with 70,000 miles. It's white, it's a crew cab, it's two wheel drive and a two seven. A, uh, let's see, they say a good deal is $25,000. That's in Riverside, California. Okay, so that's a really good comp. Here's another one. This is in Lubbock, Texas. 71,000, two wheel drive, 2.7, crew cab. Uh, good deal, 25,369. Then we have another one with 73,000 miles, two wheel drive, uh, 2.7, and that's, what is that, in uh, California. Uh, 24,364 is a good deal. So that, that's kind of how we come up with these numbers, but we always try to crush those numbers because we don't want to even be compared to anybody else. Uh, let me go through the windows real quick, and then we'll go under the hood. There's the windows. Okay. Then we got the mirrors out, in, up, and down. Other side, out, in, up, and down. Got tilt wheel. Okay, got the hood of jar light on because it is. Let's see, windshield wipers. All right, let's see. Okay, I guess we're going to the hood now. These are so hard to one hand. When you reach under, you want to go like this, this way. I kept doing this way, I don't know why, but uh, I finally figured out how to open the hood. Anyway, there's your Ford stamp. So you have an original fender over here. That's obviously important. Then you have another Ford stamp over here. So you have the original fenders and everything, which is obviously matters. Not much going on here. It's very boring, which is good. Boring is good. All right, there's your window up and down from the passenger front. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing going on there. One thing I noticed was broken is this little clip which closes this thing. So, I mean, obviously you could buy this lid probably for like 30 bucks, but it's a truck, so whatever. Um, if you want to do it, go buy one. If not, leave it that way. Um, USB port there, power plug here. Doesn't look like he let passengers in this truck. Probably the big boss man parked on the side of the road. <laughs> I picture that because this thing is a little too clean to be a full-time uh, abused work truck. It looks way too good. This must have been the big boss man and at some point he let somebody loose in the bed of his truck. <laughs> so. Alright. That window. Boom, boom, boom. It's a really nice truck. Seats are in good shape. It's got this little thing right here. Maybe a little asphalt or something. I noticed another thing that was interesting about this truck is it's got this, uh, what do they call it? 
trailer backup assist thing. That's a pretty big uh, addition option on these things. So I'm guessing that uh, it's a more a part of the business deal that they had going on here. Um, let me see, we'll go like that, like that. Here we go. And we need some air conditioning. It's almost Easter and it's getting a little warm here in Tucson. That feels good. Yeah, the air is definitely working. All right, so I'm gonna go forward. All right, so there's drive. And then I'm gonna go in reverse. There's your backup camera, right? All right. And then we'll go for a ride. You know, you also have these drive boats. So there's drive boats. There's uh, normal, tow haul, snow wet, eco, and sport. I'm gonna leave it normal, okay? And as you can see, it looks like 17.4 miles per gallon over the last 8,600 miles, which isn't too bad when we get out of the gate before it closes on all right, um, and then let's see, let's go down one more trip. Oh, it's the same thing. Fuel economy, blah, 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 compass, engine on, engine on due to, oh, auto start stop, engine on due to heating and cooling. Oh, I got you, so it's got auto stop in it also, so it'll turn off with lights and stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Let me see if there's anything else we need to look at here. Trailer status, trailer options, blah, 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 off-road. Got the little leveling device there. Settings. Pretty much just the stuff you would always look at, right? Boom. Tire, tire pressures, speedometer. That's in kilometers, yikes. There. There we go. Engine information. 198 miles to empty all right let's go for a ride um these videos by the way can be 17 minutes and 38 seconds long that's how long the hd uh uh card the the smart card in this uh hd uh gopro allows so at 17 minutes and 38 seconds i go away um if you come to tucson and drive this home you'll pay your state tax rate plus our city tax of 2.7 percent and a 250 dollars dock fee i highly recommend flying in and driving this home it's a nice rig Air's blowing ice cold already um, and strong, and it runs great. A nice highway drive. Um, if you're going to pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price, and that's it. There's no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment by wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail the title to you. Uh, you will have the truck shipped to you. Title will already be in the mailbox by the time the shipper shows up with your F-150 and you'll just go to your local motor vehicle with both and get a title in plates. That's simple, okay? If you need help with shipping, let me know at the time of purchase. I can roll the uh, shipping into the price of the vehicle so you make one payment for the shipping and the truck. Um, if you want to do the shipping yourself, you're welcome to. Um, I'm very good at it, so if you need some help, ask. Ask quickly so that we can get it moving quickly. This is a good time of year to ship, by the way. The weather's a lot better. And, we just got over having to do the snow thing and everything, so it's quite a bit easier and a little bit cheaper. Um, deposits $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get your deposit in. Last part of every video, I say the same thing, and I have for many thousands of vehicles for 17 or 18 years. 18 years, I think. Um, we don't have salesmen, so we don't have commissions to pay them. That saves you money. We pay a dollar a year to our uncle for our property. He's very wealthy and this is one of his properties. Um, so you're not paying for our overhead for our property. Um, it's just me and my brother. There's not a lot of employees to pay for. You don't have to pay extra for that. Um, we don't have a, you know, attendant serving scones and lattes like they do at Desert Toyota or at the Cadillac dealerships. They don't have, we don't have that. And we don't have a fancy location with perfect pavement and you know, a high rent, okay? That saves you a ton of money. What do we do with that money that we can save you? Do we charge you for it and make all of it ourselves or do we pass it on to you? Well, we have to pass it on to you. Why do we have to? We have to because we want you to be the owners on day one and fix your truck when it breaks. This is your truck, not ours. So on day one, you're the owner 
If something breaks, you're going to fix it. We are fine with people not liking that. The only people we want to deal with are the people who appreciate the honesty of the videos and the uh, uh, photos and the auto check and everything that we know about this vehicle. Um, that's what we appreciate. Let me get out of miles per hour. I don't know why I'm there. Where is that? There it is. Um, anyway, we're getting on to I-10 real quick here. It's a 65 mile an hour limit, but I like to get it up to 75 if I can. Um, crap, of course I'm gonna get a bus in my ass here. So now I can't. <laughs> All right, let me slow down a little bit here. And let him get a lead on me so we can go to 75 and that way you can see it. Let's do it. This thing runs great. Anyway, the bottom line is, the only caveat to buying from us is that you're the owner on day one, okay? We're not writing you checks for anything. If it's a, you know, a radio knob or a mirror or an injector or, you know, whatever, it's not happening. Um, in exchange for these super low prices, you can become the owner on day one. If you want to add another $2,000 to our agreed upon price, we might be happy on this truck. I'd be very happy to give you a three month warranty for a couple thousand dollars. I don't think you should do that. Maybe less than a couple thousand dollars, maybe 500 bucks, I don't know. <laughs> Negotiate with my brother. <laughs> but, but, but seriously, this truck is great. I wouldn't do that. I would keep the money in my pocket change the fluids regularly you know one of the things we tell people is you know we used to get yelled at because we changed the oil in every vehicle before we sold it and they were like suspicious it has new oil what are you hiding so we never change the oil or the tranny fluid or the or anything filters nothing when we get them because we want you to see them the way we saw them okay so we strongly suggest when you get this vehicle to go get the uh filters and fluids done um, now this one I looked at it it looks pretty good but we didn't do it so that's how we roll anyway we're almost out of time I'm at this light which kind of sucks but we're coming up on 1738 beautiful truck really nice truck you know you might want to buy that little thing that door and a bed liner if you care and that's about it anyway uh, thank you for your time have a great Easter